Hello, and welcome out to another Insights. I'm um, getting to the little guys, finally, I know, a little uh, behind, but uh, better late than never, right? So um, I want to get right to it and uh, get these out, and I think there may be some good candidates. Actually, about at least half of them, I think, are rollovers from the last week or two, actually. So um, basically, a lot of them are starting to set up, finally, that we have been on the radar, kind of, kind of been on the radar for a while. So we'll see what comes of it. But we'll start off like usual with a quote. And I found this the other day, and I like it. It says, you become like the people you spend the most time with. Choose wisely. Uh, and there is no doubt that not only is that absolutely true, but it's a very good um, quote. You hang out with people, and it's one of those things that I think about with my kids as they get older. Um, having conversations and trying to help make sure they understand that, look, if you're hanging out with uh people that are doing drugs, the odds are that you're going to be doing drugs. If you're hanging out with people that are playing sports, you're going to be playing sports. I mean, you're going to be doing the things that the people you hang around with do. And so if you're hanging around and obviously working towards becoming uh, better traders, then if you hang out with traders and people that are like-minded, then obviously that rubs off and it's a good thing. So, and that's, I would imagine part of the reason that you're here is because when you're with like mine, that's why the Super Summit's so good. Live events are good because you hang out with and you spend time with those that are all seeking the same objective, have a similar type of mindset that you have. So um, just something to think about. With that, let's get right to the charts. And well, let's see, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, well, 10 out of 16. So it's more than half, about 60, 70% are rollovers. So this should be quicker than normal considering most of these we've already seen. So American Airlines, just looking, we can see, uh, and transports have been beat up, and the airlines, for some reason, I never did fully understand why they were going up as much as they were, uh, because a lot of the travel stuff was peaking out. I mean, look at the uh, Car Carnival Cruise Line, and there was another one um, where they were pretty high, relatively speaking, considering the economy is not that spectacular. So I was a little bit surprised and no surprise to see the airline starting to trail off now, along with a lot of the other carnival CCL was also uh, selling off pretty heavy in the last few weeks. So uh, the market is still every time it attempts to rally, it gets pushed back with on the bearish side. In fact, we're open right now. So we'll take a quick peek. But um, if you look at little guys, I haven't put these ones in yet, but the market overall, the SPX is up 28. You can see the chart there, but uh, it keeps you know, like the day before yesterday, Wednesday, you know, we rallied up, we were up about 30, but we closed up or didn't even close up. We actually ended flat on the day. So it will be interesting to see how the market closes out today. If we get any genuine buying interest, you can see, well, there's CarMax, which is still on the radar, but you can see as well with CarMax, which we'll get to in a minute on the extreme charts, but um, it is kind of building a base, but at the same time, it's up today, but there's very little volume, almost nothing. I mean, granted, we're only about halfway through the day, but the volume is extremely light on an intraday basis. So depending on how it closes out and how things finish out today, we'll see how they go. But uh, <clears throat> American Airlines, you know, still looking for a bearish move, but it is a little bit below the entry point as of right now. So uh, we'll just see what that looks like at the end of the day and go from there, because most of these decisions are going to be made at the end of the day, especially on a day like today where it's up right now. Um, <laughs> American Eagle. <laughs> Excuse me, there's that lingering cough. It's been fine all morning, and now all of a sudden it pops up a little bit. Uh, retailers have been beat up mostly. And you can see American Eagle, you know, it's been a few years since they were at 24, but they've been pretty stagnant, realistically, compared to most of the other retailers. I mean, Macy's, as you may have seen, got beat up, went from 70 down to, what, 30 or 40 it is now? Whatever the numbers are, I don't remember, but it's been beat up pretty bad. Most retailers have been. Uh, these guys have been steadily sideways for years. So looking for a downward push on this, a little bit of a falling three methods. So we'll see what happens with that. AMAT uh, is breaking that low. I tried to hold it, you can see, on Wednesday, and, but it broke below 1590. So we're looking for a possible move to about 1435, which is the next spot. We have earnings behind us. Research in motion, similar type of picture to AMAT. Uh, a lot of technologies are, are having similar type of pictures, basically. It's broken down, broken below, and... Uh, Looking for some decent opportunity here. There's basically, I mean, it's only 60 cents, but then again, it's a six dollar stock, so that's 10 percent move uh, if it does what we want it to. So, uh, Avis, 
Another one that's been going sideways for the last three or four weeks, just sitting and holding that 2470 line. Uh, if it cracks it, there's about a buck and a half to two bucks. The only concern with this is earnings coming out on the 23rd, so that's about 10 days away. Uh, so we've got to be cognizant of that and aware of it. But if this thing cracks, as you can see, sometimes when it cracks, it moves. I mean, when it moves down, it moves down. So hopefully that's what happens here. If it triggers an entry and then it takes off, then hopefully it moves very quickly like it has before. CF, uh, nice bullish engulfing pattern with some decent volume. So like the looks of this, considering it has been beat up, it wouldn't be surprised to see a rally out of it. I mean, you look at back here in, what is that, last year? September, October of 15, sold off from 56 to 44, and then it subsequently bounced very quickly all the way back to 52. Similar type of move here, very oversold, very well could bounce to the upside. Uh, it, The other thing, I mean... It, <laughs> It could just go sideways. I just noticed. I don't know how I missed that, but um, earnings just looks like in just a few days. Well, it's just accurate. Yeah, 17th. That's what, Tuesday? Wednesday? It's Wednesday of next week. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to, to jump on that. So, I guess we'll skip that one. Uh, unless it gives us something really significant. But Cabot Oil and Gas. This one's been fairly bullish lately. We had a little double bottom. Broke out of the midpoint back here a few weeks ago. Rallied from there all the way to the target. Up to the 21 area. Then it's pulled back. You know, kind of a, a modest support level here that it's bouncing on. Again, this one's earnings next Friday. So, but considering that we're looking for what a buck and a quarter, buck and a half, we was thinking maybe a quick bounce on this thing. So we'll see. Halliburton looking for a bearish move. It's sitting right on that support level. So if it cracks down, it's likely to continue to the downside. If we look at a long-term picture, you can see there's a long-term picture, and there's some solid support down there, about 25.40. So I can see it hitting about 25. CarMax, another rollover from uh, last week. Last week or two, we've been watching this. Just like uh, CAR, I mean, you got budget, and then you got CarMax is in the same industry, essentially. They're going sideways, and if it breaks down, then that's good. We just looked at this, okay? It's up on the day by what? What was it? 50 cents a buck? Something like that? Carmax, oh, buck fifty-eight. So um, it's actually sitting above the stop out stop point right now. But that is right now, and with the volatility we've had, the market and the swings we've had, this thing could easily be down by the end of the day. MDRX, bullish engulfing pattern. Uh, another one. How am I not seeing these earnings? Or am I just okay? That's the eighteenth. That's next Thursday. Or just looking for a quick pop, one of the two. Um, I don't remember seeing this one. The Halliburton thing, I think it was Halliburton that has earnings. But, yeah, that that gives us a week, which is pushing it, but it's possible to take a quick move out of it. Um, this one may be a little less likely, so not sure how I missed that. Mosaic came out with earnings, and they blasted right through the entry point based on the risk-reward. So, uh, in fact, let's just see what that's doing right now. I'm not sure what it's doing. MOS, might as well, we got the market here, right? It is down on the day, so no surprise, which has given us an entry opportunity, but that is the hard part is, what's this market going to close out like? You know, 23.20 is the entry, where is it at? It's at, it's right at the entry point. So, um, depending on how the market finishes, you know, if the market continues up and it finishes up, then this may be an opportunity to jump on. Uh, but if not, if the market trails off and sells off, I wouldn't be so excited about this. So we'll see how the close looks. Murphy Oil, potential for a <laughs> bounce here. It's really what I'm looking for is a double bottom opportunity. It hasn't actually double bottom yet, so this one way ahead of it. Uh, so we'll see. I'd like to see it dance around maybe this next week, kind of bounce on that $16 line before it takes, or, or just jump up. Let's see actually where it is. I didn't... Uh, that's the thing. I didn't get all this out. I wanted to get... Where's it at now? It's up 65, so we've got a little morning start going already. So we could... Uh, in fact, you know what? I'll just do a quick intraday update on this, so then we can see what's going on right now. No, I don't want to recalculate criteria. Let's look at Paychex real quick, and then we'll come back. That shouldn't take long to update. Paychex is one another bullish engulfing pattern here. Uh, decent volume, decent increase in volume on it. Uh, big engulfing pattern. I mean, it engulfed three days. So definitely a big deal. We'll see. It should be updating here in just a second. Um, there is a decent chance with all these windows open up here. And there you go. There's today's candle. Uh, not a tremendous amount of volume, but no surprise. 
The only thing I'd be nervous about with this is that, I mean, it was 46 and now it's 49, three bucks in two days. Is it going to continue to run up to 52? So I would take a smaller position based on that, that there's a higher perceived risk because of the fast upward move that it's making. But at the same time, sometimes that's good, right? And that is the challenging part of trading is you've got fear and then you've got odds. So we've got to go with the odds, but we've got to control the fear as well. Uh, there's Murphy. Uh, looking pretty good right now. So we'll see how things close out. We've got a couple hours till that happens. RAI uh, has broken down, had a kind of a bullish engulfing pattern, not really, uh, not terribly excited about this one. It, it, it's based on earnings. It gapped down in the morning, then rallied. Um, considering that, yeah, it's, it's kind of on a downward move, but it was going sideways before that, so it's not technically a bullish engulfing pattern. But I figured if it would rally today, then there'd probably be a good bullish opportunity. As of it stands right now, you can see the candle is down, not looking good, so we'll see how the things close out. If that closes up, then it's a good thing. I mean, if we get a, we'd get a hammer type of pattern, then after a bullish engulfing pattern, that would even be more bullish in my opinion. SYRG, another one just like the uh, CarMax and what was the other one? Avis, just going sideways the last few weeks. It hasn't dropped off. I mean, it's been beat up real bad anyway. I mean, you're talking it was 12 bucks just a couple months ago, and now it's less than half that. So um, looking for a potential crack to the downside from there. Almost a buck of potential on a $5 stock. You know, we're looking at 16 to 18% move there if it does. Last but not least, Whole Foods. Another one, very similar picture. Looking for it to crack to the downside. It's been sideways for a few weeks. Obviously, you can see today's candle is uh, based on, you know, earnings was what day before yesterday. Um, not sure what's going on, but volume's already at the average. Had big volume yesterday, and today it's looking very bullish as of right now. So we'll see how things close out. So with that being said, trying to keep it short and sweet with the little guys, and we'll come back and see if I can get on track next week. And uh, again, I apologize for some of the uh, delays and the slip-ups and just working hard to keep things uh, moving along. So Y'all take care. Have a great day. Great weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.